Welcome to Yocanic. Today here in Yocanic we have a 2014 Toyota Highlander with the V6 3.5 motor. Um, we're going to go over where you'd find the fuses. There's two locations in the engine bay and one in the um, in the cabin of the, the vehicle. So the first one on the engine bay is the one right here on the left hand side or the driver's side right in front of the brake reservoir and right next to the fender. So to gain access to this fuse box we're just going to push this clip and pull and flip this up and over. And so as you flip it over we have some spare fuses in the top here and a fuse puller and then we have these fuses that are here. So we pull up the lid like this and if you hold it just like this upside down you can read through here and match these fuses and these fuses exactly the way they need to. That's the orientation and um, they'll tell you sometimes what they do like this one here this is a number 10 that's right there and that operates the horn. So if your horn's not working that's one thing that you could go ahead and check and check the fuse. So we take our fuse puller, we pull it out, and what you want to look is in the middle of this fuse, you see that little um, hump in the middle? If that is burnt out or, or black, then you would want to replace it. You can also use a, um, a light, a test light, and test between the two prongs, or use a multimeter and test here and here to see if you have continuity between. If you don't, then you would replace it. Now, this was a 10 amp fuse, and see so we've got some spares here. You want to make sure that you replace it with a 10 amp fuse. We don't change the size of the fuse. If we change the fuse out with a new one, but we don't change it with one that's larger because then you can cause other issues because it's supposed to blow at a certain point, and if it doesn't, then you can have some other issues. So that's this one on the one in the engine bay on the left hand side of the vehicle. There's another small one so just line the tabs up in the back and snap it together once you've gone ahead and replaced what fuses you need. So on the uh, right hand side also right by the fender there is a fuse um, it's a fusion relay right here same way pop that cap by just pressing this lever in and then flip it over and if you flip it over upside down exactly in this orientation what they uh, this one says it runs the ignition and then the other ones are but all three of these are the, they run the same number one two and three right and then we've got a few fuses here that run some different things but these are this is the other fuse and relay in your engine bay to be able to check when you need to last one is we've got one in the cab so the third fuse box on your vehicle that's in the in, in the cab is right here on the driver's side and down below the dash and this is where your left foot would be and so it's right up right up there that little white cake cover here is what you're looking for you just pull that cover down and that way you can gain access to it and so this one as you see we have on the cover we have a list of all of the fuses the sizes and what they what they run the panel the tail lights and so forth as we go down and so if you need to if you've got something going on you can start here with your fuses as well as the other fuses to to see and once you go ahead and replace those also if you need to with the same size that you pull out of it. So that's where you find all your fuse locations, the three main fuse locations on your 2014 
Toyota Highlander. Thanks for watching Mechanic, where you can be the mechanic.